following contest is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from the black country, Dave Mastiff. We'll talk all about Dave Mastiff in just a second, but JB, how about the pipes on John Bentley? The golden tones. For the host of the Gadget Show, our guest ring announcer this week on Explosion. Amazing man, what a talent. We're going to see more of Impact Wrestling soon on the Gadget Show. Be on the lookout for that, but be on the lookout for Dave Mastiff. And his opponent from Cardiff, Wales. It's the winner of British Boot Camp 2. It's Mark Andrews. I'll tell you what, John Bentley picked a great match to be the ring announcer for Mark Andrews. Some people call him Mandrews, the winner of British Boot Camp Season 2. One-on-one -on -one with Dave Mastiff. Obviously, JB, you know a lot about these guys. Just looking at them on paper, Mandrews, Mark Andrews, has given up a lot of strength, a lot of power, a lot of size to Dave Mastiff. I'll tell you what's a good thing John Bentley didn't enter the British Boot Camp as a ring announcer. He might have the... Might have won the whole thing. Mandrews would be out of a job right now, but Mark Andrews from Cardiff in there against Ooh. the big man, Dave Mastiff from the Black Country. And I'll tell you what, these two stole the show. In fact, everybody did in British Boot Camp, too. Everybody's talking about how great the final six were. Well, these two were standouts. Obviously, Mark Andrews, Mandrews taking it all, earning himself a spot on the Impact Wrestling roster. And I'm looking at Dave Mastiff for the first time. Impressed here, cover. Kick out by Mark Andrews. Someone the size of Mastiff, he's got to go close to three bills. He moves around pretty quickly. He's amazingly quick and deceptively quick. Uh, this guy can do things in the ring, can fly around in the ring like no man Ooh. his size in the industry today. You have to keep a close eye on what Dave Mastiff is going to do because he's so quick, just deceptively quick for a guy that size. And there is so much upside to Mark Andrews, to Mandrews on Impact Wrestling. I think this kid has all the potential in the world, all the desire, all the dedication, all the determination from Mark Andrews. You know, when we awarded Rockstar Spud, Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, jeez. Cover here by Mastiff. No way, Mandrews is going to be able to kick out a two. When Rockstar Spud won the first season of British Boot Camp, people thought, wow, what is this guy? You know, then you watch him a few moments. You go, oh, hey, I get it. I see what the hype's all about. Mandrews has that same quality. When you see him fly, when you meet him in person, he's got that magnetic quality about him. This guy's a winner. Expect big things from Mandrews in 2015. The cool thing about Spud and Mandrews is that Spud can kind of help Mark Andrews with the transition from British Boot Camp, from chasing your dream, to actually being a part of the Impact Wrestling roster. Well, and it's, oh, it's, you know, not to take anything away from Spud, Spud had it easier. He had a year of training in OVW yeah. under Al Snow before he ever stepped foot on the roster. Mark Andrews won British Boot Camp, and two weeks later, he's in the Impact Wrestling ring in New York City in a steel cage on lockdown. That's uh, a heck of a debut. Oh, for Mark Andrews coming across the pond, New York City. And the pressure's on him as well because what a success story Rockstar Spud is, man. I mean, have to follow in his footsteps. And it's counter here by Mandrews trying to get the big man over. Not going to work. But Mandrews able to sneak out of the way there of Dave Mastiff. Boy, this crowd in Manchester just off the charts. Oh, just wow. It's like running into a brick wall. You ever that give it a cross crazy. body block to a brick wall? That's what it looked like. I may try it during this commercial break. Don't go anywhere. Explosion returns after this. Welcome back, everyone, to Explosion. Josh Matthews alongside JB in the ring in the blue pants is Mark Andrews, or Mandrews. He's going one-on-one -on -one with Dave Mastiff. Let's Mastiff not forget the, the pressure these two have performing in front of all these great fans in Manchester. I mean, this is, a, this is the hometown advantage for these guys in one of the most famous, iconic arenas in the world. And Mastiff delayed, vertical suplex, all the blood rushing to the head of Mark Andrews. This is impressive, almost one-handed here by Mastiff. Oh. Sometimes you can wait too long with those. Inside cradle, Mastiff shoulders down and frees himself up at two. Andrews, smart wrestler, just taking it to the ground, looking for an opportunity to make a pin, and obviously knowing he can't get the big man up like that. He's no. got no chance, he's got to attack from the air. 
you know, you're always taught as you're training to be a pro wrestler that always try to win the match, always try to end it, look for quick victories, and, and you know, get in, get out. You don't get paid by the hour in that. You know, I know what you're talking about. I've you had do. To, That's now right. Now that I've, uh, you know, just back in Glasgow a few weeks ago, tag, quick tags. Tell you what, Mandrews is a heck of a tag team partner. And Mandrews firing up here on the bearded face of Dave Mastiff. I want to see more of this Mastiff character. Oh! We certainly got our share of him during British Boot Camp, too. And Cover. Inside leg is hooked, and Mandrews is down, and I've oh, just got that inside shoulder up. Space and opportunity for Mandrews. What's been amazing is all six of the top six finalists getting to compete on the Maximum Impact Tour, and certainly just speaks for the amount of talent over here. Ooh. And the one question I get everywhere I go, is there going to be a British Boot Camp 3? I was just about to ask you that. Well, you know, stay tuned. You know, the, uh, the second season, obviously almost twice the success from a viewership standpoint as season one, and certainly almost no be, lack of talent. We'd almost be foolish not to do a third season. Well, the talent pool is there, no question about it. I'd like to see some more potential knockouts. Well, Kaylee Ray making it to the final six, but there was a wide array of great female talents involved that made it not only to the top 16, but of course even just trying out to begin with. Maybe you could get me on as a judge, season three. You want to judge because you have, females. You I wanna, know you have high connections. I can see something about that. Oh. I, I would trust you'll be completely unbiased. Call it right down the middle. Absolutely. I'm Bill Alfonso. Yeah. Right down the middle. Bald and Ooh. Freight train coming in. What does Mastiff have in mind here for so big rolling sent on? That would have flattened Mark Andrews. And now, Mandrews, springboard, Hurricane Rana. Attacking from the air, that's what Mandrews does best from the top, has no fear of flying whatsoever. See if Mandrews can keep up this assault, Mastiff down. He's got airplanes on his trucks. You think he's scared to fly? He's not. Check this out from the top rope. Shooting star press and a victory here for Mark Andrews. This kid's special. The winner of the match, Mark Andrews. Certainly picked a good one. And the winner of British Boot Camp Season 2, Mark Andrews. Take nothing away from what Dave Mastiff did here. Mark Andrews with the shooting star press. How can you not be impressed by Mark Andrews?